What's up, YouTube? Mech here. We're doing another beer review because it's Friday. Yeah, for Friday. Freaking pumped, guys. Why am I pumped? Because I like beer. The Bruins are going to be on in a little bit. Got my Bruins shirt on. We got the Bruins pint glass here. And we're like a week away from Christmas, too. It's crazy. Beer for tonight is going to be the Samuel Adams Winter Lager from the, uh, I guess you could say, uh, winter season variety pack. Um, and I believe you can get this one in uh, six packs and 12 packs as well. So it's not limited to just the variety pack. Like, um, I think the rest of them in the pack, like the the, uh, the Holiday Porter and the Chocolate Bock and the uh, Fezzy Wig Ale that we did last week, uh, those are not available. Um, in larger packs but this one is cool stuff so moving right along we'll hop over to beer advocate real quick that's not beer advocate that is my obs and that's youtube wow good job <laughs> we're doing everything like live here <laughs> so uh anyway over here on beeradvocate.com, uh, you enjoying this one? We get a 3.59 out of 5, which is considered good, uh, with 6,139 ratings. It's a fair amount of ratings, um, I, I think. Um, once again, from the Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams in Boston, Massachusetts. Style is considered a German Bach. That makes no sense to me. Because, I don't know if you can see, it's called a lager. I don't know why they call it a German Bach. It's a little strange. Let's actually jump in on in this. Bach is a bottom fermenting lager that generally takes extra amounts of lagering or cold storage to smooth out such a strong brew. Bach beer is general. Bach beer in general is stronger than your typical lager. More of a robust malt character with a dark amber to brown hue. Hot bitterness can be assertive enough to balance. Though must not get in the way of the malt flavor. Most are only lightly hopped. So I'm corrected then. It actually is a lager. It's just left for, to ferment in cold storage for longer to smooth out the strong flavors. See that? Learning something new every day. I did not know that. My arrogance, or not really my arrogance, my uh, um, my ignorance almost got the better of me there. So anyway, moving right along. Alcohol by volume is 5.60% and availability is winter of course, but you tend to see these a little bit earlier um, towards like the end of fall. Uh, and that's all there is. There's no notes to speak of here. Um, yeah, no notes. Uh, which is fine. <clears throat> here on the bottle we have Festive Bach Beer. Limited release. Lager brewed with orange peel, cinnamon, and ginger. Always lots of um, spices with these um, winter kinds of beers. Uh, lot, usually cinnamon, nutmeg, chocolate, uh, caramel malts, uh, gin ginger. Did I already say ginger? So, get the pour on here. I give it a little swish at the bottom since it's the bottom fermented, as they said. Oh, please don't overflow. <laughs> My phone is right underneath this. Yeah, not so good. So we got a little bit of a head on here, kind of like a off-white, almost a very light tan color. About maybe a, a 
finger and a half, almost too thick. And as you can see, it is a dark beer for sure. Amber colored, pretty much. Um, it is on the brown side of amber. Oh, I want to say dark amber, but I don't want it to sound like it's like a dark red because it's not more brown. So we get the smell going here. I like the smell of this one. It's got like this uh, spicy smell to it, but it's also like sweet and pleasant at the same time. You really get the um, the uh, you really get the cinnamon in the smell. And like a slight hoppiness. It's it's hard to place. I don't really get the orange peel or the ginger really in the smell. Cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon, orange peel, ginger. For sure, for sure though, you get that the spicy notes and the malts and just a slight bit of hops. So, let's go ahead and get a drink going on here. The um, the Winter Lager by Samuel Adams. Cheers, you guys. Uh, <laughs> week two of December. That was a long gulp. That sounds silly. I'll say that was a, a large draft from this pint. <laughs> it's, um... I need a better place for my mic. I don't like how it's, like, in my way here with the camera there. Because before I moved stuff around, the camera was there. And it was never in my way, and now it is. <clears throat> so... I don't know why I keep holding it up either. So anyway, uh, the taste as I'm rambling along here. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and a happy new year. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. This beer, it's got such a nice balance to it. I don't understand why it's got a, a score that's basically I don't know, a C, like, or like a C plus. <clears throat> it's got a nice spice to it, but it's not overbearing. Uh, the beer we did last week, uh, the, the Fezziwig Ale, it was spicier than this. This beer, it's it's got a little bit of, um, like, when I'm thinking of spice, I don't think cinnamon, I think like um, ginger, and the uh, the kind of like citriness, citrusiness of the hops. Um, the orange peel is probably in there somewhere amongst that. Um, it's on the whole, it's 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 refreshing and tasty. It's kind of hard to pin the taste. It's. I'm not an expert by any means, by no stretch of the imagination at all. But what I get from this beer, spicy notes, but it's very mellow. I guess that's probably the best way I can say it. It's, it's spicy. It, it's, it's warm. It's, it's got a nice deep, bold flavor but it's smooth and it's not overbearing. Probably the, the best way I can describe it, guys. Um, it is very enjoyable. It's one of those beers that's, um, it has sort of a warm feeling to it, if that makes any sense at all. When it's, you're drinking a cold beer, it's got a warm feeling to it. I don't know if that's understandable or not, but it's, it's very tasty. I think it's it's quite refreshing, and uh, is definitely worthy of trying. It's even worthy of a 12-pack. 
you don't necessarily need to get the, the, the variety pack and be like, okay, I got two of them. We're going to call it good. Very good. So, the the winter lager guys from, from Samuel Adams, that's that. Hard, hard, uh, hard flavor to place, really, but it is enjoyable, and I think it is definitely worth a try. Um, so, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, thumbs down if you did not, and I would definitely appreciate some comments down in the comment section below on what you think of this beer if you've had it, and also uh, any thoughts on um, beer in general. I uh, hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your Friday or whatever day it is, wherever you are, whatever time it is. And I will see you next time on... Uh, it's going to be like the week before Christmas. The 21st. <laughs> so like four days from Christmas. So I'll see you then for the next beer in the Samuel Adams Variety Pack. It's going to either be the, um, the Chocolate Bock or the uh, Holiday Porter. We'll see which one it ends up being. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.